We are so back in the groove that it's not even funny anymore boys. Hope you are all having an amazing day today. The stock market continues to pump infinitely as Donald Trump is set to take office and deregulate the absolute crap out of everything. I want to talk about investment propositions regarding what GameStop could do with the money they have on hand. Quickly, if you guys don't mind, please drop a like on the video, it helps boost us up and allows more people to see GameStop related content. Also, if you guys like day trading or investing in general, do consider visiting our Discord server link down below. As I was saying, the US stock market is going parabolic at the moment, with people making thousands if not millions on their trades and investments. This is all because of the expectation that the next presidential administration will have a loose approach to policy. This can have very positive and very negative effects on the economy and stock market, but for right now, a less regulated market means higher margins for companies. GameStop is not bound to benefit from that necessarily speaking as much as others by comparison when it comes to deregulation, given their own business model, at this moment at least, is focused on selling video games. That business model also has its days counted and to be fair, GameStop's main source of income has been selling shares. Still, the company has benefited greatly from the overall market sentiment and if this current rally continues, I definitely expect GameStop to pass over $30 a share. However, and I know I'm going to get destroyed in the comments for warning you, but this pump in valuation is not going to be sustainable for GameStop unless they increased their cash on hand or whatever is left of their business. This is important to remember because GameStop's own CEO will most likely dilute shares again if they go up high. If GameStop continues to climb up, you can certainly expect the CEO to want to dilute, which is yet another reason why I would be wary of buying shares at the current valuation. Personally, I think this is best traded with options, and then exercising if the price continues to move astronomically up. If not, then you could still cash out positively on your trade without taking as much of the risk as you would buying hundreds of shares. In today's video, I want to talk about how GameStop can actually profit and add a lot of shareholder value in the current bull market rally we are experiencing at the moment. GameStop's recent cash reserves of around $4.2 billion offer a substantial opportunity to reposition itself and capitalize on the current market rally. While GameStop has largely been viewed as a traditional retail player, the evolving financial landscape provides several avenues for strategic growth that could revitalize its business model and shareholder value. Here are some ideas on how GameStop might allocate its cash to fuel growth in the ongoing bull market, along with an analysis of potential benefits, risks, and outcomes. First and foremost, they could expand into digital gaming and cloud platforms. GameStop's initial success was rooted in physical game sales, but the market is shifting toward digital distribution, with services like Steam, Epic Games Store, and cloud gaming platforms on the rise. We have also seen how PlayStation is now making moves to remove disc trays altogether from the base models on their latest Pro edition of their PlayStation 5. Leveraging the bull market's momentum, GameStop could strategically invest in building its own digital distribution service or cloud gaming platform. This shift would align with the industry trend, allowing GameStop to reduce reliance on physical sales and capture a share of the growing digital market. With consumer interest in digital gaming climbing, especially during bullish market periods, this move could bolster revenues and align the company with broader market growth. A potential collaboration with existing digital gaming platforms or the acquisition of a smaller, emerging digital gaming company could help GameStop establish a competitive footing quickly. Acquiring a stake in or partnering with cloud gaming leaders, for example, could allow GameStop to access a tech-savvy user base that prefers online gaming. Expanding into the digital and cloud gaming sector offers not only growth potential but also aligns with broader market movements toward tech and digital entertainment, making it an opportune investment in the current bullish climate. I have also talked in great lengths before about GameStop having enough cash to potentially buy out a company such as Ubisoft, or at least buy a significant stake in the company. Another thing GameStop could do is develop their e-commerce and online presence. The gaming market increasingly relies on e-commerce, and GameStop has an opportunity to become a more digitally driven retailer. By investing in a robust online marketplace, GameStop could compete with platforms like Amazon and Walmart in the gaming sector. This could include expanding online offerings to encompass collectibles, gaming hardware, digital downloads, and exclusive merchandise. 
Emphasizing a strong user interface, competitive pricing, and streamlined logistics could help GameStop attract and retain online customers, especially with rising disposable income levels in a bullish market. In addition, by leveraging artificial intelligence and data analytics to personalize customer recommendations and enhance user engagement, GameStop could improve its customer retention rates. E-commerce expansion would not only increase GameStop's relevance among modern gamers but also help hedge against future disruptions to its physical store model. One cool thing that GameStop could do is enhance their own store experience with technological integration. Physical stores can still play a valuable role, but only if they evolve beyond traditional retail. GameStop could invest in creating, experienced stores, where gaming enthusiasts can try new games, participate in tournaments, and engage with exclusive technology. Transforming stores into experiential centers could help boost customer engagement and keep foot traffic steady, especially among dedicated gamers who view gaming as a community-driven experience. Adding VR or AR setups, gaming lounges, and tech-assisted product displays could create a destination shopping experience that drives higher in-store sales and complements online channels. The growing market enthusiasm for new technologies and immersive experiences can further add momentum to this strategy, as the bullish market fosters higher consumer spending on entertainment. Keep in mind that GameStop's cash reserves provide an ideal base to pursue acquisitions or strategic partnerships, particularly with smaller companies that align with its growth goals. By acquiring or partnering with businesses specializing in esports, gaming accessories, or niche digital distribution services, GameStop could build out its product offerings. Investing in companies with innovative hardware or software solutions could also differentiate GameStop from competitors. An acquisition strategy should focus on businesses that offer sustainable growth potential and complement GameStop's existing market positioning. A diversified portfolio in related sectors would allow GameStop to manage risk, expand its customer base, and adapt to changing industry demands. This one is very big, and has been discussed by others years ago but I haven't heard about it in a while. Esports is a high-growth industry with global revenue projected to reach billions in the coming years. GameStop could tap into this by creating or sponsoring an esports league, establishing a streaming platform, or partnering with established teams and tournaments. Esports viewership and engagement have surged, making this a valuable area for GameStop to allocate resources. Developing an esports presence would allow GameStop to engage with younger demographics, who form a significant portion of the gaming market. GameStop could leverage its retail stores as venues for esports events and tournaments, creating a dual-purpose location that generates foot traffic and online streaming revenues. This investment could also create opportunities for merchandising, sponsorships, and advertising revenue contributing to both brand value and revenue diversification. Bitcoin and other cryptos are blowing up in value at the moment. The rise of blockchain technology and non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, has captured widespread interest in gaming. GameStop could invest in developing or acquiring blockchain-based gaming assets and NFT marketplaces. NFTs enable gamers to purchase and own in-game assets in a verifiable, transferable format, adding value and engagement to the gaming experience. GameStop's established brand in gaming could give it a competitive edge in this space. By entering the blockchain gaming market, GameStop could offer unique collectible NFTs, secure partnerships with game developers for exclusive in-game assets, or even launch a marketplace for gamers to trade these items. Such a venture could open new revenue streams and enhance brand relevance in a rapidly evolving digital landscape. Given the bullish market conditions, which often encourage investor interest in innovative tech, GameStop's foray into blockchain could be especially lucrative. Back into game development, vertical integration into game development and publishing could further secure GameStop's position within the gaming ecosystem. GameStop could establish a game development division or acquire smaller studios, allowing it to directly participate in the creative and profitable world of game creation. Given the sustained demand for high-quality content, this investment could yield long-term revenue streams. To mitigate the high costs and risks of game development, GameStop could start with smaller, independent projects or partner with mid-tier studios for co-publishing opportunities. By releasing exclusive titles through its own platform or offering limited-edition physical versions, GameStop could appeal to both digital and traditional gaming audiences. A vertical integration strategy would make GameStop less dependent on third-party publishers, 
providing greater control over product offerings and enhancing its value proposition to customers. They could strengthen their logistics and supply chain infrastructure. Efficient logistics and supply chain management are critical for e-commerce success. GameStop could use its cash reserves to enhance its logistics infrastructure, enabling faster delivery and better inventory management. This could involve investing in regional distribution centers, upgrading warehouse technology, or implementing advanced analytics to forecast demand more accurately. A robust logistics network would also support GameStop's potential growth in digital and online sales. Improved logistics could reduce overhead costs, speed up fulfillment, and enhance customer satisfaction. As consumer expectations for quick and reliable delivery rise, particularly in a bullish economy, these enhancements would position GameStop as a competitive, efficient retailer. Lastly, they could significantly invest their $4.2 billion back into the market. I could see Ryan Cohen heavily investing in Tesla or Apple. He has a tendency to pick a small number of investment vehicles, so I wouldn't expect him to diversify too much, if at all, which could be quite risky, but if the investment pays off, your GameStop shares could be worth a heck of a lot more. I really look forward to hearing from the company's board. I am a serious critique of their silence regarding the future of the company and would love for them to be much more transparent. Regardless, I'll continue to cover GameStop for the time being. Thank you so much for watching this video though it's end. Hope to see you on the next one. To the moon.